On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, every year, people all around the United Kingdom stop what they're doing to be silent for two minutes. On this special day, known as Remembrance or Armistice Day, all sorts of people from many different backgrounds and different ages come together in this act of remembrance. The first ever Remembrance Day was held on the 11th of November 1919 to honour the lives of the thousands of men and women in the armed forces who lost their lives in the First World War. Today, over a hundred years later, Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday, which is always held on the second Sunday in November, continue to honour all those servicemen and women lost in the First World War, the Second World War and the many modern day conflicts since. On Remembrance Sunday, I'll be remembering not only those who were killed in the name of freedom in World War II, but also those who were prisoners of war. I was a prisoner of war during Gulf War I in 1991, and I'll also be remembering those friends of mine who were killed in the pursuit of peace. As the wife of an RAF veteran, on Remembrance Sunday, I won't only be thinking about those who died serving for their country, but I will be thinking about the families left behind, the wives, the children, the parents. For them, every day is remembrance. Here at the International Bomber Command Centre in Lincoln, we have a very special memorial. During World War II, more than a million men and women served in Bomber Command, which was part of the Royal Air Force. Our spire and memorial honour the sacrifices of the 58,000 individuals who lost their lives serving in or supporting Bomber Command. Our mission every day, but especially during the Week of Remembrance, is to remember that for every single name recorded here on our memorial walls, there is the story of a real person who deserves to be remembered. Each November, in front of our spire and surrounded by the names on our memorial walls, Many children come from schools all around Lincolnshire to pay their respects and to take part in our Remembrance Service. As with many of the similar services that take part on Remembrance Day, the children present wreaths which have been specially made at their schools. Each year, local children also write poems on the theme of Remembrance, which are displayed here at the centre. Some of them, such as this poem called I Must Remember by Toby, are chosen to be read out during the remembrance service. I must remember, so I am told, but it is hard, as I'm not very old. I am tired of these terrible wars that end after many years, however, not for the family's heartbroken tears. For the love of the people lost, war is not at any cost. I must remember, so I am told, for one day I too will grow old. And if my generation learn from the past, no more wars will be cast. When the fighting of the First World War came to an end in 1918, the only flower that would grow on the battlefields was the poppy. And this is why, for over a century, this flower has become a symbol of respect for all those who have lost their lives in war and of hope for a peaceful future. Wearing poppies isn't the only way that we can show respect for people from the armed forces and civilians that have died or suffered due to war. At the International Bomber Command Centre this year, we've been joined by hundreds of children from a local primary school who've been using their creative talents as a very special act of remembrance. Today we're making puppies for remembrance day. We're making puppies today, so we will remember about how hard it was and what they did for us and that we, we wouldn't be alive if those people didn't sacrifice their lives just for us. We I'm making poppies in re for remembrance because um, it's just respectful to those people who died. Today we are making poppies for Remembrance Day to show that we have respect and for people in the past from the World War II and World War One who have sacrificed their lives. Well, remembrance Day is really important because if we don't have it, we would just forget about all the great people who helped us along the way. This Remembrance Day at 11 o'clock, as you stand quietly with millions of others around the country, we hope that you will take time to remember the sacrifice of those that fought for our safety and freedoms. Remembrance isn't just about the past, it's about learning from history so that we can work together towards a peaceful future.